Hey guys and gals, Ryan here again. Welcome to the Ryan Plays. Today, tonight, this morning, whenever it is you're watching this delightful video, we are continuing our journey through TMNT Shredder's Revenge. This game is phenomenal. Uh, it definitely scratches that nostalgia itch. Uh, if you like a, those old style beat em ups, side scrollings, this is the game for you. This game is phenomenal. I love it. I cherish it. It's probably the one of the my favorite games of the year so far. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys, and uh, let's see who our next victim is. Crystal Palace Mall. I don't know. By the outline, I have no clue who this is. We will find out, I'm sure, though. Okay, Rock City and Bebop, they're indestructible. They never die. And as you can tell, I have changed my character from Raphael to Leonardo. Um, quick fact, my favorite color is blue and green. And I just I go between the two randomly. Sometimes I like blue more, sometimes I like green more. But look at this. Leonardo is both the best of both worlds. I have my green, I have my blue, and what else can I ask for? All right, gotta be careful. These guys, these guys like to throw daggers. I love how they, they like to sneak up behind you. Nobody wants to just come straight on you. They're always trying to get a little extra maneuver in on you, which is fine. I mean, we're in a, we're in a, a lunch room. I'm just gonna take your lunch and eat it. All right, these the pink ones are the ones I can't kind of get on my nerves. Throwing them little daggers, trying to be all sneaky and such. It's not okay. It's just not okay. I have noticed too that the, the levels do get progressively worse. Hopefully we can take this guy out. All right. For, so you do like this meditation and then it fills your bar up and that allows you to use your special move. I don't know how many we actually... Three. Oh wow, now we're at max. Okay, so we must have like four of these now. So, my kids played this this weekend, and they got pretty far. Um, I haven't really played it that much. Oh, it's special. it increases my attack power. That's what it is. Oh, nice. Thing is, you've got to do it four times. So you have to do it in between. Dude, okay, you're getting a little you're getting a little old. And Mr. Lugwrench over here. It's craziness, man. The words I want to use, but I won't use such words. No, I won't, but I want to. Oh, I want to. Let's go. Let me charge this guy up real quick. Be nice if we could get some special attacks again. All right, that should completely fill us up. I don't know. Oh, you really? That's how you want to play? These guys would actually come up on me. Instead, they run away like small children. Get over here and fight. Look at this. Hit him already. He must die. All right, we need some pizza. Oh, nice. It was hiding in the box. I'll take it. I'll take it, and I'll raise you a Slim Jim. All right. Take this guy out, because he's going to... Oh, are you kidding me, dude? I was hitting you when you got up. There's no way. See, this is the stuff that'll piss you off. Just annoying little tedious stuff as such as this. That's right, mister. You're dead. That's what you get. These guys are just going to keep... Oh, so I, I... Okay, I just realized that. We're actually filling that bar up as we attack uh, characters as well. That makes a lot of sense. This whole entire time, I had no idea of such thing. The only reason I knew about this power-up bar is because I was watching my kids play this weekend. They're always teaching you something. Always teaching you something. All right, let's see who we got here. Oh, I hate these things. That's fine. We'll just... Uh, you do have to focus, but, you know, we can't really do anything when these guys are shooting these little goofy, ridiculous lasers. So they're coming down and fighting like a man. Of course you wouldn't because you're not a robot, or you're a robot. Totally understand it. Seriously. Rock City and Bebop. We should be getting close to the boss, I would imagine, by now. That's one thing I noticed is these levels are not as long as they were on the original game that I played when I was a small child. Growing up in England. Kidding. Never been to England. It did sound like a sweet, sweet story, didn't it? Sure did. I would like to find another pizza before we go into battle. But I don't know if that's going to happen. There we go. I want to take... Dude, get off me already. I want to take... Oh, man, I'm going to end up... I don't want to lose another life. That's the thing. I'm trying to be sneaky on this. 
Alright, there's gotta be some- Yes, pizza! We definitely needed that, alright. Do we have a boss fight anywhere? I mean, just saying, there should be a boss fight. Why there isn't already blues? Oh, look, the old style arcade games. That definitely brings back some memories. There was a time when arcades, they were it. I'm telling you, I used to always love going to arcades. I used to only pay 25 cents for a game, and now it's, now you go to some of these places, pay over a dollar for a game. I get it. It costs more money to make them, and inflation and all that jazz, and whatever else you want to blame it on. But I do remember the good old days. When a quarter could give you two seconds of happiness, because games were really hard back in the day. Are we actually already fighting Shredder? There's no way. Nice, he just disappeared. Who in the world is this lady? The Tempestra. Tempestra? Tempestra? Not sure how you pronounce your name, ma'am, but... We're gonna keep on. Oh, she does it like a... Oh, look at that! That's the guy from uh, Secret of Ooze. What? What was his name? Raka? Rock? Rock? Wasn't... Didn't it start with an R? I can't remember, it's been so long. That was like my favorite Ninja Turtle movie though, I can tell you that. I'm trying to think what his name was. It wasn't Slash, it was Snapping Turtle, wasn't it? What was his name? Was it Slash? Or I'm thinking the other guy. I can't remember now. It's been so long. Boy, I tell you though, it's a lot of good memories. This guy does not want to die to save my life. Come on now. All right, let's see if we can't just go ahead and take her out. Nice, and she is dead. I don't know where you're from, ma'am, but it doesn't really matter. So she must be from like a computer program or something. Quite odd. Regardless, she's dead. She didn't make it, she didn't survive, poor lady. I tried to save her life, but she wouldn't allow me to. You know, I'm just what I'm here for. Save people's lives. Do it every day. As always, thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this little gem. Let's see what the next uh, video clip is. Another part of his body. I really need to figure out what his name is. I cannot remember to save my life. Another missing robot piece? What a yeah, it's going to be fun trying to fight that guy. I cannot remember his name, though. That's the only bad thing. Well, as always, thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this little gym, and we'll continue our journey. I don't know exactly how many episodes there are, but there looks like there's quite a few. But we'll be done with this game before you know it, and on to the next one. Until then, I'm filling in with in between these videos with just random Game Pass games. Preferably indie games. I've always been a huge fan of indie games. They're fun. They're soothing, they're relaxing for the most part. And there's a lot of good game developers out there that have great ideas and with a low budget. And you know, they can't make these AAA games, so they make these awesome indie games um, that are phenomenal a lot of times. I'm not gonna say all these games are gonna be great that I play, but we're gonna try them and just see how well they play and see if it's worth your time to download and try them yourselves. But again, thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this little gem and until next time, 